In this demonstration, I want to talk a little bit about uh, reiterating the pathways that you created whenever you installed either MAMP or XAMP or something else that you might have done. But uh, And uh, I also want to do a, a very basic introduction to uh, some issues with error reporting and syntax and color coding um, before you get started. I think it'll be very helpful. Anyway, so the first thing that uh, I want to reiterate is the pathways to your web serving directory on your computer are going to be, if you followed one of my tutorials, would be for the MAMP installation on a Mac, would be in the root level directory. So like if you were to go to your Macintosh hard drive, um, it would be root. That's what this forward slash is. And when I say root in this case, what I mean is the root level of your file system. So root, it would go to applications, forward slash map, forward slash hcdocs. For xamp, it's the root level of your Windows computer, which would be your C drive, and it would be backslash uh, xamp, backslash hcdocs. Okay, so that's literally in the file system where those folders exist. All right, now if you want to view those things on the web server, you can go and open something like Firefox or Google Chrome or Safari or Internet Explorer and you would type in your address bar http colon forward slash forward slash localhost. Localhost is being mapped by the Apache web service to the htdocs folders. Okay, that's really important for you to remember is that localhost is being mapped to htdocs in either one of those uh, applications. And what Apache's doing is it's reading a configuration file that points to htdocs as the web serving directory. So that means that anything that you put inside of the htdocs folder is going to be served up on the web under the localhost um, address. All right, so that leads us to the next thing is where we made the dev folder. In our last examples, we created a folder called dev, which standard for, stands for development. You could have also called it like sandbox or something like that. Um, and that means that we created it inside of the htdocs folder. So there's a dev folder in htdocs in both Windows and the Mac installations. So in your web address, if you wanted to access that, you would go to http colon slash slash localhost slash dev. Now, it's really important to understand that even though in the addresses up above, the Mac uses forward slashes because that's what Unix-based computers do in their file pathways, and on the Windows side, it uses backslashes whenever it's referencing its file directories. It's important to understand whenever you're accessing something through a web browser, though, you're always going to use forward slashes. And so that means that this address, uh, localhost slash dev, is going to be the same for both the Mac installation and the uh, Windows installation. Okay, so don't let that confuse you about forward slashes and backslashes. The backslashes are only going to be whenever you're referencing your Windows file system. Not the web, you know, but the actual Windows file system. Okay, so that brings us to the next step uh, where I want to open my browser. I'm using Chrome, and I'm probably going to use Chrome for the majority of uh, stuff in the class unless it's an old, old demonstration, in which case I'm probably using Firefox. Um, but anyway, I want to go ahead and show you that I have typed in localhost, so that means that I went ahead and I enabled my um, web service. So I'm using a, a, Wind a Macintosh computer right now. So I started my servers through MAMP. You would have to do the same thing through uh, XAMPP on Windows. Um, okay, so I typed in localhost and now it's uh, sending me to the uh, index when I say index I mean to the root level directory or the directory listing of the htdocs folder and if you remember also that uh, what I had done is made a shortcut for htdocs here and so if you see looking here there's an info.php in htdocs and there's a dev folder and that's exactly what you see in my directory listing so if I were to click on dev there's a basic page and if you wanted to look here as an example there's basic that's inside of dev okay so you can see that this is mimicking the file system all the way up to localhost which is mapped to my htdocs folder okay so that hopefully is enough of a reiteration so that you understand 
Now what I'd like to do is I would like to uh, go ahead and open Dreamweaver and I'm going to show you uh, some different things about uh, really basic syntax and uh, how you can understand in a very basic way about some error reporting because that's one of the things that I think is very confusing to new students uh, learning this material. Okay, so anyway, let's go ahead and we're going to open an, a new file or create a new file. And let's say that for now we're going to create it as HTML. This is why I don't want to use that basic.php page that we made before. I want to use HTML and we're going to do HTML5. And I want to show you something. I want to show you what happens between the difference of an HTML file extension page versus a PHP file extension page. So let's just say that we've got HTML file with PHP, okay? Uh, and then in the body, let's go ahead and like we did before, uh, I'm going to go ahead and type my beginning HTML uh, excuse me, my beginning PHP tags and my ending PHP tags. Well, I want you to notice something. Look, see how it's blue? This is one of the reasons I don't want people using like Notepad or unless you're using uh, something like Notepad++ or whatever where it does have color coding, but just the plain old Notepad that comes with Windows, you know, I don't use it. Text edit that comes with Mac, don't use it for this purpose. Um, you need to get something that's going to have good color coding so that you can immediately see when things are wrong. You, you're, it's going to take a little bit of time for you to get used to color coding, but once you get used to it, you're going to immediately be able to tell whenever there's something that's that's not quite right. It's it's going to feel wrong. Okay, so these should be in red in Dreamweaver. By default, PHP tags are bright red, and so by default already I can tell that something's wrong. But let's just go ahead for the sake of it, and we're going to say echo, and then in quotes I'm going to put hello and uh, let's just do it like that and it starts to do something a little bit different like it puts it in blue so you might think oh well maybe that's okay it's not uh, because if you notice up here in regular HTML in that sort of dark blue color in Dreamweaver uh, you've got tags and attributes and then the values which are in quotes the values are in that brighter blue that's what it's doing is it's thinking that this is some sort of value of HTML, so that's not right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save this, and let's uh, go ahead and uh, I'm going to do a file save as, and then where I want to put it is let's put it in my dev folder, and I'll save it as um, I don't know, we'll call it HTML file like that. Okay. Now I'm going to jump over to my web browser. I'm going to refresh my dev folder directory and we see this thing called HTML file and there's nothing there okay and but remember if you look over in Dreamweaver it's telling us echo hello so it should be echoing out to the browser to print it well it doesn't know how to parse this it doesn't understand this tag at all and so it's not doing anything but if you were to go back here and you go to view your source code. So if we say view and then we go to developer and say view source, you can see that it's actually showing you the PHP right here. It's not parsing it. It's actually just printing it inside of the view source, but it's not actually printing it to the screen whenever we look at it here. It's just blank. Okay? That's because it doesn't have a file extension of .php. And I've told you before that you must end PHP files in the file extension .php. And the reason is that automatically when Apache sees something with an, an extension of .php, as long as PHP is enabled as a module, it will see that and it will automatically look for tags inside of the HTML, that, you know, the embedded PHP tags. And as soon as it hits one of these, it's going to literally hand the script over to the PHP parser. PHP is going to, the PHP engine is going to parse it, digest it, and then it's going to hand it back to Apache um, and its regular web service to then go ahead and generate it out as HTML. And it would look very different. But here, it's not handing anything over to Apache because it doesn't recognize this file extension as necessary in handing something over 
to uh, the PHP parser. Okay, so Apache just tries to deal with it all on its own unsuccessfully. So that's the first thing that you need to pay attention to. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close this file, and in fact, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete it from my file system. Okay, so here's my htdocs folder, and then I'm going to go inside a dev, and I don't want this file anymore. I'm going to delete it, move it to trash. Okay, so that's gone.